Hello, my name is Doug Riley. I'm the Assistant Chief of Operations here at the City of Lake and Fire Department. I want to welcome you to the City of Lake and Fire Department and thank you guys for coming out and giving me the opportunity to share some information with you about your City of Lake and Fire Department. I'm going to go through a brief uh, series of PowerPoint slides here and hopefully give you guys some information you didn't already know about us. Lake and Fire Department has a total of 161 employees divided into five divisions and manning seven fire stations. The administrative division consists of a fire chief, two assistant fire chiefs, fire marshal, and four administrative assistants. Division two, suppression, is by far the largest division. It's all the emergency workers that respond to emergencies. The city is roughly divided into two battalions, not quite north and south, but basically about half the city in each battalion. Battalion 1 covers stations 1, 2, 5, and 7, while Battalion 2 covers stations 3, 4, and 6. We'll get into the location of the fire stations here shortly. Our personnel work a 24 on, 48 off shift to give 24-7 coverage, and we run three shifts, A, B, and C, with 47 personnel per shift. Fire Safety Management Division consists of the fire marshal, five fire inspectors, one public education officer, and one fire life safety educator. This division is responsible obviously for inspections, but they also do code enforcement, plans review, arson investigation, and public education. On another note, um, in the arson investigation side of the house, the majority of our fire inspectors are also duly sworn and certified police officers. The training division, obviously uh, responsible for all the training of our personnel uh, is divided roughly into two divisions. We have the training chief who is in, responsible for all the training on the fire side and the rescue chief is responsible for all the training and operations on the emergency medical service side. The maintenance division consists of a maintenance supervisor and two mechanics. Fire trucks and equipment are specialty apparatus and require special training. In addition to being ASC certified mechanics, there are mechanics and maintenance supervisor are also emergency vehicle techni technicians certified. And we do all of our uh, repairs in-house at a shop that we have located at station four. Coverage area, we cover roughly 81 square miles, 91% inside the city limits, and about 9% that we cover through an, an OPA outside protection agreement contract with Polk County Fire Department. Station locations. Station one, located at 755 East Rose Street. At station one, battalion one, rescue one, engine 11, engine 12, and truck 14 and tower 15 are all stationed at station one. A side note, uh, anticipated opening of a new station seven in the winter of 2014, at which time the truck 14 will be relocated to station seven. Station two is located on uh, South Florida Avenue at Beacon. Uh, it's a smaller station. It uh, consists of an engine and a rescue truck, engine 21 and rescue 22, six personnel per shift. Station three is located 110 West Bella Vista Street up by the Northside Library that's where Battalion 2 is housed, along with Engine 31 and Rescue 32. Station 4 is over on Brunel Parkway, 215 Brunel Parkway. Um, they can have Engine 41, Rescue 42, and that's also the location of our maintenance division. Station 5, located at 3101 Lakeland Highlands Road, currently has one engine, Engine 51, and four personnel per day. Station six is our northeast station. Station six is located at 5050 North Road 33 and currently houses engine 61 and rescue 62. Station seven is our newest station. Uh, they are currently in a temporary facility at the Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. And today they house engine 71 and also ARF-1. In addition, we have a reserve ARF truck that's called ARF-2, ARF being the aircraft rescue and firefighting, the big green Oshkosh 
uh, specialty apparatus that uh, specialize in aircraft uh, emergencies. In Station 7 is roughly divided into two halves, one half being the ARF side, the aircraft rescue firefighting side, which only responds to aircraft emergencies on the airport property, and also Engine 71, who runs, who runs outside of the airport property and into the community response for the southwest quadrant of the city. The, uh, like I said before, the new station is under construction now. It's come along very well, and it's projected to be completed in the fall of 2014. Here's a map that shows um, coverage areas for our seven fire stations. And the little circles are kind of hard to see from this point, but they show the uh, five-mile radiuses from each of those fire stations. Types of calls for service. In 2013, we ran almost 21,000 calls, with uh, roughly 71% of those calls being emergency medical in nature, 17% being good intent, and a small 2% being actually being fire calls. Medical calls obviously make up the bulk of what the LFD responds to. Uh, we have two types of vehicles here in the fire department, uh, BLS and ALS. BLS being basic life support. They carry all the equipment and emergency medical technician levels uh, training to provide basic first aid and first response to all emergency medical uh, calls in the city. And we have at least one apparatus at every fire station today that is ALS uh, equipped and manned, ALS being advanced life support. Advanced life support is uh, pretty much um, all the services that you get from a county ambulance, except we don't transport. The uh, difference or the, the unique way that we respond to medical calls today is if you call 911 in the city of Lakeland with a medical emergency, you get a fire truck with trained personnel as well as an ambulance from Polk County Fire Rescue running dual response. The non-medical calls for service pretty much covers the gamut from A to Z. We obviously run building fires, residential, arson, commercial, vehicle fires, grass and brush fires is, uh, in addition to so many other things. We run about 20% of our call volume are, are what we call others. They're not fire or medical, but they're good intent calls, automatic alarms, false alarms, and then everything else from A to Z. Other services we provide, we have specialty teams here in the fire department. We have a technical rescue team. Our technical rescue team, we currently have just under 60 uh, trained personnel on the team. They respond to confined space, high angle, trench, building collapse, and vehicle machinery extrication, specialty uh, types of calls. And all of our personnel are trained at the operation level in hazmat response. Other services, uh, fire safety programs, uh, we go out to uh, many of the uh, schools within the city and uh, we do educational fire safety programs for children and adults alike. We do community outreach and presence programs, adult programs, and work safety programs as well. And I want to thank you again for coming and uh, giving us an opportunity to share some information with you about your Lakeland Fire Department. And if you have any uh, further questions or need any additional information, visit our website at www.lakelandgov.net slash LFD. Thanks and have a great day.